Yo, 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 yo. We are back. And better than ever. With another weather stream. Uh, as always, I am your weather man or live stream weather, severe weather expert. An eight. <laughs> okay, really, I haven't been on in like two, three weeks, something like that. So um, it's going to be kind of interesting to see what tonight brings us. Because whenever I'm live streaming, you know, it's always, you know, for a bad reason. And tonight's bad reason, poor reason, if you will. We have the chance for some severe storms that are capable of producing tornadoes. So um, let's get started, shall we? There was a tornado warning just a, a couple minutes ago. Um, this was for Claiborne and White counties. And the warning did say that it was uh, incapable of producing a tornado as soon as it ended. Which is true. The the um the velocities on it has gotten weaker, so not really a risk for tornadoes there. However, do keep in mind that later in the evening you could have a chance for a possible tornado around your area. Moving off to the west, we have a tornado warning for Pope and Van Buren. This is in effect until let's see. This is probably Central time, so this would be for six. Uh, this is in effect until. Nah, you know what? Let's just look it up for ourselves, shall we? So, um, this is not giving me a lot of stuff, is it? <laughs> All right, tornado warning remains in effect until 5 p.m. Central Standard Time for northwestern Van Buren and northeastern Pope counties. And uh, let's see, the hazards for this. Not really too much hail, um, but the rotation is indeed radar indicated, and you can indeed see that here on radar. If I pull up my pen here, you can see that the reds are moving away, the greens are moving towards the radar, the radar is like somewhere down here. And so right in there is where your rotation would be, and it moves just off, let me move this scan a bit back. Actually, you know what, what am I doing? Let's uh, get storm motion from warning. Let's place a storm track right there. This is moving just to the east-northeast. This will move down just to the north of Hector and just to the south of Smyra. So if you are in between those areas, do take shelter now, as this could be a potentially dangerous situation unfolding. You know, with any tornado, anything can happen. So you do not want to take the risk of being caught out in the open, unprepared, in front of this tornado-warned system. As we look off, really, nothing really um, too much organizing right now. It will be later that will really ramp up the action and pick up the pace of tornado-worn storms. So as for right now, we only have this cell. Um, in a second, I will uh, talk about SPC stuff, but I do have to go get something because I completely forgot. I gotta get some water because I can get parched. You know, I'm a human being too, Chad. So I'll be back in a sec.
cat, get out of here. I love you with a heavy heart, but you have to... Great. All right. Hope these storms don't end up being a big problem. Me too, Jamie. Me too. Um, what I will do to uh, try and self-promote my channel, you know, because I need as large of an audience as I can get to help spread the word, I will indeed... Oh, good lord. No. Go... God, I just want to, there we go. Goodness gracious. New tornado warning, new tornado warning. Indeed, new tornado warning for Louisiana. So we will get on right to that. No self-promoting this time. And let's see if I can beat Sammy. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Did I beat him? Let's go. I beat him. Alrighty. Um. So the thing about keys is I can't really give it to anyone. Uh, I will. Uh, I will talk to him about that in a second. But going on to this because I have to tell people tornado warning for Grant. Natchitoches and Wynn Parish in Louisiana. This is in effect, I shouldn't have closed that, until 5.15 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you take a look at that, you have this nice little hook right here that comes down and wraps around. Uh, if we take a look at the uh, base velocity, you can see that not really a well-defined circulation. You know, the velocities are a bit kind of spread out, but you can definitely tell with the radar being just to the south of that, the winds moving away and towards, there is definitely some broad rotation indicated by the National Wind Service over there. So definitely something that we want to keep an eye out for. And um, not really a, there's not really a correlation coefficient with this storm as I wouldn't really expect there to be as of this moment, but still something that we really do want to keep an eye out for. SBC Sky Warren, what's up, my guy? Yep, so Shreveport issued this one. Oh, wait, did they? Yeah, they did. Is this just its own radar down here? Fort Polk. Interesting. Quite, quite interesting indeed. So, uh, yeah, let's quickly take a look at the uh, other tornado warning in Arkansas. As I said, this is in effect until 5, I believe. Uh, yep, five for Van Buren and Pope counties. Um, and, oh, look at that hail core right there. Definitely nice little updraft that it is having. Uh, Skywarn2312, thank you for the subscription. I really do appreciate it. Um, continuing on with the subject, though, very nice little updraft that this has with the hail core. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at the hail that it has if I hover over this, press control. This, according to the radar, has 0.87 inch sized hail, so something that can do minor damage across that area, just the north of Hector. Uh, if we take a look at the base velocities, bit broader and stronger rotation with this storm. So as I said, you do not want to be in front of this when this thing gets stronger. And I didn't precisely say that it could get stronger, I didn't precisely say that it could get weaker. But the thing about it is, is that you never know with these until it actually arrives. So something that people do want to be careful of is that whenever a tornado warning is issued, get underground. Don't spend any time longer above ground or outside. Depending upon, you know, your current situation, you're going to want to get to that innermost room in your building or underground underground preferably so something that we do want to be careful of and we just got a new hail size indicator that is over an inch sized hail so this thing is definitely getting stronger and uh look at that base velocity right there 
37 to 38 knots on the outbound winds. So something that we do want to be careful of, I'm going to take a look at the storm, uh, the spectrum width, and you can definitely see that the winds moving down into the storm, the downdraft, if you will, is definitely a bit stronger now. So what I do actually want to do is I want to take a 3D model of this storm, and you can definitely see, look at that nice little hail core that it has. You know, it's not too tall. You know, I'm going to take a look specifically. This is above 20,000 feet, so something that's a little unexpected in my opinion. But um, that on that note, it still has a nice little updraft, keeping all of the uh, all of the hail and the heavy rain up above a certain point. So something that people do want to be careful of. Um, I don't really see any populace right around here, but there's still something. There's a bit housing and all that, but something that those people out there do want to be careful of. Let's go back to the tornado warning down in Louisiana to see if that scan is updated. As I said, that is for Grant Nachito. I, I don't know how to say that, chat. If one of you could actually, like, you know, <laughs> pronounce that correctly, yeah, that'd be great. So, but Grant Parish, Nachito, Nachitoches Parish, and Wynn Parish counties in Louisiana. As I said, that is for, until 5:15. Latest scan has it so that the outbound winds are just around chopping and it's still pretty broad not really too organized as of right now but something that we do want to keep an eye out of um it you here's the thing chat you don't really know if it's going to be you know a tornado outbreak unless if it actually you know happens you know Let's put it this way, all right? We thought that we would have a April 27th, 2011 type tornado outbreak in May. And lo and behold, it didn't happen. So these things are so unpredictable now that we can only give our best judgment as to what is happening. So, something that we do want to keep an eye out of. Jaden G2, what's up, my guy? New station track of these tornado in Louisiana. Mm. Easy to spell it, maybe, yeah. No, it's it's kind of hard to say, all right? It, it really is. If you can say that all on the first try, you know, props to you, really do so. Um, I just want to do this so that I don't have any of that left. I'm going to go to the photos and links and I'm going to post the link of this stream in that said link. And then we will continue with talking about the SPC as we were trying to do before. Do I not have a, uh, a thumbnail for this? If I don't, that is absolutely embarrassing. <laughs> uh, if we don't, then let's go ahead and do that while we have the chance. I have my uh, warnings, my active warnings on the side so that we're not missing anything as of right now. Uh, update thumbnail. Let's put in something that will catch the attention of the user. How about that that will catch the attention of someone that's fine what's up Jackson how are you doing my friend uh, this should update in a second obliged to take actions to comply with children's all my privacy protection act review your channel and video settings I am very confused as to what all that means, but you know what? I will look into that after the stream. Anyways, 
now talking about the SPC. And uh, by the way, Jaden, Daniel may not be here tonight, so you may be all good. Um, SPC. Yeah. <laughs> There's a wide tornado risk. A wide, wide one. Wide tornado risk for parts of Missouri, Illinois, a little bit of Kentucky, a little bit of Tennessee, northwestern parts of Alabama, northern parts of Louisiana, and then we'll just say much of Arkansas. So really that area, and then a 2% extended outward into Alabama, into Indiana, Iowa, and Texas. So yeah, the Discord server is dead. Kind of like, yeah, the one that we're, we used to have is dead, but I kind of just like roam around with Storm Central and Tornado Alley. So that one's, those are fun. That's usually what I talk about. Uh, real quickly, as I do full screen. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'll give you the velocity in a second. Actually, I don't know how to give you the velocity since you don't have Discord anymore. So that might be difficult. I'll figure that out in a bit. Um, yeah, I do have St. Louis and Memphis to watch tonight. That's going to be pretty interesting to see how that all works. Um, hmm. The point being is, is that I don't really like giving away, you know, I could be nice and stuff. Are you 13 though? That's the thing. I don't want to get caught if you're 13. Then you're okay. If you're not, I can't do such a thing. Um, do I want to give a registration key? Here's the thing. Alright. As much as I would love to, I'm kind of already sharing it with someone. I don't really want to give it out to people. You know? But I'll think about it. I'll honestly think about Continuing with Hmm I just really don't want to get into trouble, man. You know what I mean? Like I really don't. The tornado warning in Louisiana got cancelled, so it's only the warning in Louisiana or uh, in Arkansas. I actually do kinda want to see what all happens, so I am gonna go backwards and see why this thing has weakened so storm has now weakened you do want to still keep an eye out never mind uh, another tornado warning louisiana what is this chat Wee! <laughs> Ooh, this one actually has very very intense rotation i'm not joking anymore you promise to not tell anyone here's the thing it's not that you won't tell anyone. It's just that people will probably tell everyone. Here's the thing. It's kind of hard for me to do, really. Like, number one, I like the satisfaction of 
you know, not giving free things out. Unless if, you know, it's like a giveaway. You know, stuff. We'll, we'll figure that out. We'll hey, how long are you out. streaming for? Uh, quite a bit. Quite a bit, honestly. I'll be home at about 9 p.m. from your time. Think you'll still be active then? Uh-huh. And we actually have a pretty nice little rotation down to the south. Oh, nice. Memphis area? Sarah was talking about that earlier. No, this is north of Alexandria in Louisiana. If you might want to put that down. Yeah. What is it? Uh, I think a new watch just got issued, but they're keeping it on Meso 2517. So, nothing new there. Hmm. I thought all the watches expired. No, there's um, new ones. Everything is starting to just go off. I just called in to piss you off and see how long you'd be streaming. I'll be back later. Mm. It's tornado watch in Tennessee, so that makes sense. Yeah, it is Daniel. Daniel came in to pop in for a little bit. Oh, uh, the one in Louisiana? No, there's one up by the lakes, Great Lakes. Great Lakes? Not on my screen. Wait, no. Fuck, I'm retarded. Arkansas. Oh, Arkansas, yeah, that's been on there for a while. That's in effect until six minutes from now. Okay, I'll get you the base velocity in a second. Um... Right now, I'm kind of in the middle of a couple tornado warnings. And then as soon as that is done, I will try and figure out a way to, uh, to do all that. Although, it might be diff you might not be able to get your velocities in until a bit later. Because we are in the middle of a uh, little crisis, if I do say so myself. It is pretty cool. I want to go to the SPC when I'm older. If I can graduate from all the stuffs possible by... Yep, yeah, so Alexandria. This is one of those things where we may want to actually like keep an eye out for that. Uh, this storm up here for Pope and Van Buren. The rotation is a bit broader. And as you can see, it's a bit more of a bow echo. So bunch of strong winds pushing in behind this and you can see how it just arches out so the tornado threat may have diminished for that area so you maybe will be in the clear you do have another little uh system behind it close to hector you may want to keep an eye out for that as that may be moving into your general vicinity but for now you are all in the clear <laughs> What in the world? What? Alright. Be back in two seconds. I'm gonna set up the uh, radar for you all. I gotta take out the garbage because my parents. Because my parents. It's literally the only reason.
did just that chat and now we are all good oh you're in Memphis well then let me see if I can uh, track some stuff out for you see if uh, anything will really impact you you are in the enhanced w uh, risk for severe winds so you do want to be careful for that as well as a 5% chance of tornadoes. Hail, not so much, so you'll be fine in that aspect. Um, sorry, I just ran out. I just ran outside to do something real quick because my parents told me to do so. So yeah, fun stuff. So I'm assuming, I am assuming, Andrew Ostapowitz, what's up? Thanks for coming out to the stream. Um... So assuming that all that out there is central time. Uh, precipitation type, there we have it. So scattered storms will come around through your area. Actually, it should be coming through your area right now. And then the severe aspects will continue all the way throughout into the late evening and early morning hours. So do want to be careful for that as this could be a uh, pretty interesting night for you all um, not too threatening but still something that you all want to be keeping an eye out for so uh, let's turn off the loop and let's make sure we are all up to date that tornado warning in northern Arkansas has expired the warning actually just recently expired. Uh, it was in effect until now, which is 5 p.m. Uh, I do live in the East Coast, so down here you do see that it is 6 p.m. Over there it is currently 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Central, so it did expire just now. I love meteor meteorology too, Andrew. It is quite honestly one of the best sciences out there when it comes to just marveling at something you know it's pretty it's pretty cool if I do say so myself so tornado warning still continues though for Grant LaSalle and the wind actually this might be a new tornado warning and it is so let me just go ahead and put that in the discord um yeah, because I co uh, I co run a Discord, so that I now, yeah, you're fine, you're fine. I didn't see anything, um, so I just update this Discord, and people know, you know, tornado warnings, stuff like that. You know, pretty, pretty simple stuff, if I do say so myself. Oh, we got a TVS, so this is gonna be interesting. Oh, look at that velocity. This is actually pretty dangerous, if I do say so myself. So before I do anything. I'm going to want to do storm motion. Oh boy, let's uh, let's get a track on here. This is going just to the south of Georgetown, just to the <laughs> just to the west of Little Creek, just to the north of Little Creek, and just to the south of Tulos. So this is going to be pretty interesting as to whether or not this will hit or miss these cities. But if you are in any of these, even in Urania. Tolos, Georgetown, Little Creek, do go into your shelters now. This is no time to waste. There is a potential tornado on the ground, even though I do not see a correlation coefficient. There may have been a brief spin up about, let's see, three to four minutes ago, there may have been a brief spin up. But as for right now, it is above the ground and it is rotating rather quickly. Which, oh, the models on Tropical Tidbits, yeah. Tropical Tidbits is pretty good. I also recommend uh, Pivotal Weather. Pivotal Weather is pretty good. It contains the Euro model, not all of the Euro model, but the Euro model for the most part. So, Pivotal Weather is pretty good. It also has forecasts on there. Uh, but other than that, it's rather pretty cool if I do say so myself. 
I do not really see. The thing about this is it's about it's an embedded rotation, so it may have a lot of precipitation around it, but you don't really see a well-defined inflow notch. So how this thing will sustain, I really don't know, and we probably won't know until we see some future scans. So something that we really do want to keep an eye out for. Um, See, remove storm track as we already know where all this is going cat you guys are actually my cats are annoying they appear at the worst opportune places whenever I stream but still this thing is pretty intense as to where this all could go uh, what in the world is going on? Uh, okay, home. I gotta go back. Friends, pending. Yep. I will accept. It said it was a confirmed tornado. Oh boy. It didn't say it was a confirmed tornado. Not yet, at least. I'm not doubting that it said it could be a confirmed tornado. But it's definitely something that we do want to keep an eye out for as of right now. Um, I am accepting Discord friend requests and stuff, uh, social media friend requests, stuff like that. It really, the social media doesn't really bother me too much. Yeah, yeah no problem. And the GFS is kind of a hit or miss for me, honestly. GFS is uh, one of those things where it's decent at um, it's decent at tropical stuff when it comes to tracking. Terrible at intensity. It's okay at severe. It just gets you the broad subject of the matter. Um, winter weather, it's not too good. And stuff like that. Euro's not really too far in front either, though. You know, it's winter for the Northeast is a bit lenient, so that it gives it more than it really should. But mm. it's one of those things where we will have to see. Every year is a new year. But those were my observations based off of those. Might be confirmed EF one. Um, you know what? Shall we uh shall we create a little tool here? Let's uh go back and see if we can get actual decent velocities with this. Um Okay. Let's place a marker right here. Let's get the delta velocity of this thing. So delta velocity is 62 knots, which is about 67, 68 miles per hour. Its rotation velocity is 31 knots, which is about 32, 33, 34 miles per hour. It has a 41% chance of becoming an EF1, a 7% chance of becoming an EF2. So that was according to the radar. Now, of course, stuff can obviously, you know, change. This rotation is a bit broad for my liking, but still something that we can keep an eye out for. As you can see, a lot of these yellow pixels around indicate that the winds are quite rapid around within that area. There isn't really any hail, so this is definitely winds that are moving the subject around. But you can now see this little curly cue inside this giant, you know, mumbo jumbo of rain, and that is the rotation. So people within those areas, especially Tulos, Georgetown, this is out of your way. Little Creek, this is out of your way. Tulos and Urania, as well as folks near the US-84 and US-165, people do need to take caution with the storm and preferably go underground. So, something that we do want to keep an eye out for as 
this all moves to the northeast actually as a matter of fact I do want to get storm track uh, that's not exactly where I want it but storm track right there and you can see in general of where this is going to go I would use my uh, other place file but I just really don't have a need for it anymore it gives the uh, cities in its path but really for every tick you see here it's so like here's one here's two here's three for every tick it's 15 minutes so you can basically have a rough estimate that oh it's gonna impact Tulos in about five minutes it's gonna impact Urania in about 10 it's gonna impact Ola in about say 18 minutes and then Kelly in about 30 you know so it's one of those things yep this is definitely an HP supercell um, actually it might not be that and the reason being is because there isn't really you know you do have a lot you do have a pretty nice little uh, downdraft here but the updraft if I take a 3d scan of this the updraft is not really too prominent here is the 3d of this storm and you can see that it doesn't even reach 20,000 feet which in my opinion isn't too impressive so this thing may not be a supercell yet but it is a storm capable of producing embedded rotations based off of the different wind speed velocities so this thing still has a chance to produce a tornado as it moves off to the north and east just to the south of Tulos, just to the south of Urania, it is supposedly, I will say supposedly, because these things can move, I'm saying this is going to move just a little bit, now that I think about it, just a little bit more towards, actually, let's let's fully look at the, uh, at the way this thing is moving across, so, yeah, this thing is moving along the, um, Along the eye is this 85, 84. This, whoa, this is U one United States 165, so Route 65, uh, 165. I think it will possibly cross over. I think it's going to lean a little bit more to the north than the north and east, but still something that we do want to take note of as this does move across. So. This is quite interesting. The threshold value is an eight. Hmm. Pretty interesting, if I do say so myself with the storm. New scan moves off, and it actually seems as if it is kind of curling off a bit more towards the side. It may tend to do that um, with the different velocities. What this could mean, this could mean is that this all may be bowing out, and there may be some winds moving in behind the cell. Uh, for some reason, the National Weather Service base velocity is not working. Uh, that's a crime. <laughs> the tornado warning obviously got expired. Because, oh wait, did they say it was not strong enough? Weak and below weather. Yeah, weak and below severe limits, so still something that people do want to keep an eye out for though um city of louisiana is about to get some showers and a possibility of chance of storms so shreveport is all the way back here and yes indeed you did have a line of storms pass by just a second ago you're going to have another line of actually this is the dry this looks more like the dry line or the second line of cells that may be developing, which I'm actually more inclined to believe that this is the second line of cells that could produce the uh, the tornadoes out later this evening. But something that you do want to keep an eye out. This may be the dry line, though. I'm actually kind of confident it is the dry line, but still something that we do want to keep an eye out for, and especially you yourself, Trevion. So. Pretty interesting, if I do say so myself. Um, as I look through... Uh, okay, so that's just Jamie being Jamie. Yeah, I am kind of the uh, leader of the um, 
not to brag, um, but I am kind of the leader of the uh, weather researchers, so it kind of just does, it. we kind of just do our own thing. I'm trying to uh, assemble groups and stuff. And, uh, yeah. Trying to, like, see if everything is up to date. It all looks like it is all good, which is really good. So nothing's really too much is happening right now. Yeah, according to the future radar. Okay, so that kind of makes more sense then. Kind of makes more sense. So let's take a look at um, Arkansas. Just the overall of just looking at, you know, what all is happening. There's a nice little, uh, nice little set of scattered thunderstorms that are moving into Mississippi right now. So I kind of do want to take a look at that in a second. Um, looking at my radar app, I look. It's showing that a dry line, so yeah, it's confirmed. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, can you do it now? There is no warning. Oh, okay. Um, so, Instagram. I do want to do that real quick. Do you want to sign into that? Uh, log in. You guys are not going to see my password whatsoever. Because I said so. Where's my phone? Oh, here it is. It's in my pocket. Uh. Goodness gracious. All right, I do not know how in the world. There's no DM on the website? That sucks. You know what? We're just going to do it off of Discord then. Um, all right. Is that correct? Because it doesn't seem like it's uh, doing anything. There is no tornado warning right now. I have a thing on the side of my screen saying that it is. Uh, there aren't any, at least. Uh, I'll even pull it across as soon as I do. Um, I'll pull it across in a second because I'm at full screen. Um, yeah, are you sure that's correct? I do not see anything too much.
Yeah, I don't. I your thing might be um messed up. Could you um recheck and see if that is actually what is what's at the bottom? So like down here. Are you sure that's what you have? But anyways, I'm um, talking about the uh, tornado warning little thing that I have. So the same thing that you have for um, for GR level three and GR two analyst has one a little warning box. So I just keep that over here. I keep it near my notifications for like subscriptions and stuff. Even though the subscription thing doesn't always work, but uh. Yeah, you know, I try. I try my best just to have it there. And if it doesn't show up, then it doesn't show up. This is what it is. Um, I'm checking a lot of the people that usually are on the stream with me are kind of busy right now. So it looks like it is just going to be us chat for now. Mm -hmm. But, um, mm, low. Yeah, the storm in Louisiana almost did. And not the opportunity to. But, um... Hmm. Oh, you sent me something. That's probably what was the ruckus. Hmm. All right, give me a second chat as I try to figure out how to do all of this. Uh, da, 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 da. Um. All right, we did that for now. And then as soon as that all works, then we will see what all is all this. Oh. Hmm. It's pretty nice, it's pretty nice. All right, so now I am going to want to see downloads. Yeah, all of these little downloads are uh, little uh, little next rep datas that I have from past uh, weather events, such as Joplin. El Reno, more than other personal stuff. Forge JavaScript. BV Pow. There it is. There you go, my friend. Take luck. Enjoy it. So he now has the place file for a base velocity. Hooked you up. Alrighty, well, uh, this is quite interesting as to how this all is transpiring. Nothing all too much is happening. Uh, as I immediately look at this little cell right here, just so the west of flag has a little bit of rotation, nothing too much. If I, you know, if I, I interchange between the reflectivity and the velocity, it's not really too impressive, but something we do want to keep an eye out for. Um, I did say I wanted to take a look at these um, these cells over here. Unfortunately, there isn't any real radars around here besides Little Rock and Memphis. There is one in Jackson, but that's basically it. So, check the storm in Little Rock. 
Um, there's a bunch of storms near Little Rock, so there's this one. This one is a little bit rotating. Let's take a look at the spectrum width. Spectrum width is okay. Um, that one is okay. It's a bit weak for now, but it's still something we do want to keep an eye out for. These were the ones that I was talking about earlier. This one actually has a hail core. Um, so let's take a look at how this is transpiring. This is still a bit unorganized, so nothing too much to look at right there. This is uh, actually turned into a bit concerning now. It's starting to wrap around that inflow. Uh, not fully wrapped around, but it is in the beginning stages where it tries to form a little appendage. So this is just to the south and west of Alco just to the west of Timbo, just to the north of Flag. So this is in Arkansas, and this is something that people do want to look out for as this all moves to the north and east. Um, as I take a look at other cells around Little Rock, there's these line of cells. Radar actually is kind of dying at the moment. Uh, the velocities are... Hmm, velocities are kind of just chewing themselves up, so it's not really giving me a uh, very good idea of what is happening. Um, hmm. Trying to determine what all is really happening over here. There's a lot of interference. Weather is just like black magic. Seems legit. More like the radar just seems to die every now and then. And that's actually kind of what happens. Um, yeah, with these, I can't really tell too much. I do want to take a look at this little thing near Cleveland, and that's not doing too much either. This did have a nice little hail core earlier, so something that everyone wants to take care of or just wants to look out for. I'm going to take a look at these cells back in Louisiana, see if they strengthen or weaken. And this thing has a nice little hair, hill core for itself as well. So something that we do want to take care of. This does have slight rotation. So as I said, these storms near Ola and Urania and uh, what was in Tolos, Georgetown and Little Creek, this has moved off to the north and east. So this is paralleling route... Let's see, 165, is that what it is? Yep, Route U.S. Route 165, and it is paralleling all the way up. So something that people do want to be careful for is this thing still has a tiny bit of rotation, but nothing too much. So it could produce, or it could just be a bit of a wind maker. A uh, nice little hail core that this thing has as this goes over a half an inch, so that's quite interesting. A high wind advisory for Ohio. That's kind of, that would make sense. Yeah, most of the areas around here, I, I don't live in Ohio, but I live in PA. But these areas, I'm supposed to get some winds tomorrow. Uh, I just wish it was snow. My friend, I wish it was snowing yesterday so i could have no school for yesterday and today but nope haven't had s actual precipitating snow yet uh makes me sad because this is my senior year of high school and i kind of just want to be done and over with it you know my graduation date doesn't change so if i could have some no school days it won't really matter um, my stream is always delayed. It's delayed for a reason. I'm, it's not really, like, I wish I could, like, delay it further, but it always has to be delayed. Uh, today was indeed the last day of school for me. Uh, south of Montgomery. So I do want to take a look at that. Uh, I can assume that 
Montgomery. Actually, I'm just going to take a look at overall. So, Montgomery, Montgomery, Montgomery. So, I look through. It wouldn't be these cells, would it? I do not think so. Can I get a uh, state as to uh, where that cell in Montgomery is? Never mind. Okay. Yeah, the wind is. My last day of the school year is um is like beginning of May. In which then I will be going to Penn State. Okay, the radar was delayed. That's fine. Hmm. Okay. This should be a tornado warning now. From now on, I will be NSFW. Is that what it is? I completely forgot what the 18 thing is, where it's like, are you sure you want to go into this channel? Am I studying in college? That's not what I wanted. <laughs> you want to take a wild guess? A wild guess would be, um... thing that I'm doing right now actually that's a wild guess in which you'd be correct guys look at how bony my arms are they used to be like eh, but now they're just bony look at him it's like little sticks alrighty well uh a nice little thing but uh, I don't really want to do that anymore. Yeah, there's no warning for this storm quite yet, but still something that we're uh, gonna want to look at as this thing does. Gonna do a little, does its own little thing over Alco. All right, because I have to take precautions. I can't show stuff anymore. Boom. Oh. Pretty cool if I do say so myself. Oh, that's pretty cool. Are you a nerd? <laughs> I'm a nerd too. My mouth is kind of sore. TMI. I'm just kidding. Hmm. Alright, that's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Um alrighty. That should be all good. This actually has gotten a little bit of what a thing. Eight bit right. <laughs> You're an amateur meteorologist. All right. See you, SPC. Thanks for coming out. Like 8-bit Orion. Seems legit. What do you mean? <laughs> yep, this thing still has a bit of rotation, if I do say so myself. It's a bit weak right now, but could be tornado worn within a bit. You live in Houston. You should meet my friend Daniel. He's uh he's a mod on the uh, on YouTube on my YouTube channel. 
He said it'll be in at about nine my time, so a couple hours. Got your bottom braces. The top tighten, that makes sense. Yeah, Houston doesn't really have any severe weather. Tropical weather absolutely hates you though. Every now and then you just love to die. Alright, um. Oh, oh boy. What in the world? He's in VC? What do you mean he's in VC? Oh, he's in a VC with people. Duh, makes sense. Oh, there you are. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I have it right here. No information given whatsoever. I'm here most of your life. Uh, Harvey sucked Anna Melda. Yeah, I Harvey. I heard from a. Uh, from Daniel sucked terribly it was awful like it was an absolute you know, thing mm -hmm. <laughs> okay there we go but yeah I heard Harvey was terrible for uh, Houston. It was absolutely like one of the worst. One of the worst in a while for the for the US when it comes to like damages. So, uh -oh. mm -hmm. <laughs> You got a little bit of Cindy. Yeah, there was a lots of flooding I heard. Is that ice chips? This is um This is Sour Patch Kids right here that I have. If I chew loudly, it's something that I usually do. So I try not to, but it's just meh. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take a look and see what all is happening with the SPC. So this has not updated. I will take a look at the Mezzo discussions. Maybe snow. Okay. So the watch is right now. Tornado watch. This is an effect until midnight my time. Taxi floods are the worst for my areas. Oh, that's interesting. Well, I mean, um, my friend Daniel lives in northern Houston, so I don't think he got, like, too much, uh, like, well, not too much, but, like, got all of what Houston had, like, central Houston, but, excuse me. Hmm. So that's low. And that's low. So it's about the same. Hmm. It's a lot of heavy snow over um north uh northern Iowa, southern Minnesota, and northern Nebraska. Plenty. Oh, you live in West. So would that be... That would probably be... Huh. That's interesting. 
It's really interesting. I'm really curious as to what this all looks like. So I'm going to turn precipitation type on. I said heavy snow is in this area. I should get heavy snow. Look at that. That's a bunch of snow. A bunch of winds. Goodness gracious, this thing is a blizzard. <laughs> this thing is a giant. I wish I had that snow. Just push that snow over here. Push it over here where I live, honestly. Who all was blowing up my phone? I'm trying to figure out why. Oh, the mountain. I'm getting confused. Alrighty. Well, that's nice. Uh, turning off precipitation type as we go in and we look at the rest of this. Nice to see you back, Trivion. Nothing all is really going on right now. However, still want to be cautious over what all is happening and what all could happen. And why the ground just shook, because I have no idea. Hmm. Alrighty, well, that's pretty interesting. We've just got a bunch of people telling me a bunch of different stuff. Absolutely love that. I'm not going to look at the admin chat anymore. It's just going to give me a bunch of... <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, well, um, let's take a look at Twitter. Twitter usually has a bunch of stuff when it comes to weather. So let's just look up tornado. Boom. Um, hmm. Butter Scott's pretty cool. Don't really have too much to look at here. I don't know what in the world is going on. Yeah, it's not really showing much, to be honest. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I don't really uh, uh, see a lot of stuff on here that's telling me too much of what all is happening, but yeah. The news in your area, when showing your weather, do you, they laugh at the beginning. Most of them do. <laughs> Most of them laugh. Honestly, like most, most of them do. Other than that, it's pretty quiet. I don't like how quiet this has been, honestly. Uh, 
I'm gonna turn my fan off when I make the fans with you. Stop it. The link for the rainfall amounts. Um. Oh, the text takes fun. Um, if it allows the link. Is my Nightbot allowing links? Here, let me see if my Nightbot allows links. I'm not sure if my Nightbot allows the links. You might have to send that through Discord if you came through Discord. If not, then I will have to allow Nightbot to uh, do all that. All right, that sounds good. Oh, on the slideshow, quick. Uh, yeah, it does seem like a rather marginal day today. Earlier it was quite, quite entertaining, you know, with us having a, a rather decent rotation in Louisiana, but for right now, nothing is really too happening. Uh, what in the world? Oh, that's just ABC stuff. Uh, double checking through everything. These scattered lines. It's quite interesting. These velocities are messed up. Messed up big time. I don't like it. I don't like how they're messed up. <laughs> but then again, it actually makes sense. So if you take a look at the higher scans, it uh, it's quite fast. So that makes sense with the higher tilts. Um, I do not have the link anywhere, so I have no clue as to where all it would be. Um, um, Should I do it? That's the real question. Should we pull the trigger? I gotta move my thing. There we go. All right. Hopefully, you can see fully. All right. You can actually see me fully, so that's good. Um. Got that point is that we had about 10 to 11 inches of rain in about four hours oh my god I don't think I would be able to keep up with that much that is insane you know you can press shift to stretch the source in the OBS yeah I fit it in though I press shift that's what I did. Severe thunderstorm warning. Would you look at that? This is south of Joplin, everyone. 
So, you all should know where Joplin is. Oh my goodness, this thing is nasty. Um... <laughs> um, this thing is quite quick. <laughs> Pretty speedy, if I do say so myself. And there is a bit of rotation that could possibly spin up. We might actually have a bit of a uh, concerning situation here. Hmm. Joplin does not get any breaks, does it? It really doesn't. Like that entire area right here. Do not live in this corner of Missouri. You are severely mistaken if you think you can thrive within this area. I repeat, do not live in this current corner of Missouri. It is a given that you should not live there. Specifically because it will give you bad time. Okay, was that GR3 that she sent? If this is GR3, then I'm... I'm confused. Come on, radar is broken. Radar does this stuff, it's fine. Um, let's go full screen. Base velocity. I don't see too much as to what all is going on here. As a matter of fact, the velocities are kind of meh, in my opinion. So it's nothing really too much. Yes, Joplin is a dangerous place. Like, honestly, just don't, don't live there. Yeah, Coleman is also a tornado magnet. Just, there's two places that you should not go, all right? There's this area right there. And then let's go over to Alabama. Almost there. Almost there. I believe Coleman is right around here somewhere. I don't know specifically where. Oh, there's Coleman. Do not live in. I'm going to draw a line. And it's going to be pretty specific. Don't live here. Don't live there. Don't do it. Do not live there. Do not live in any of those areas. What the heck is this? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> what type of thing is that? Oh, meso discussion icon? Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Oklahoma, all right, there's some places that you don't want to live. There's that, and then there's somewhere over here called Moore. Northwest of, Normiham, of uh, Birmingham, yeah, I figured that out. It's like over here. It's actually north, straight up north of Birmingham. It's right up there. Do not live over there. If you don't live over there, you're fine. Oh, <laughs> Spectrum width is actually quite intense over there, so there's definitely some downdraft use. Let's see, like tornadoes, yeah. Do they really want to? Do they really want to encounter a tornado? Like, that's the thing. They probably don't. West side of Ohio. You mean. Yeah, that's Dixie Alley. It kind of, it could happen. It's all starting to turn into a bunch of lines. It's kind of in, uh, interesting. 
Yeah, Dixie Alley. Ohio into Iowa. What inter uh, interstate is this? I th 530. What in the world? It's I-30, so that is like I-530. I don't understand these interstates sometimes. Like, literally, I'm pretty sure I've seen 495 like 5,000 times. I don't know. Actually showing the severe thunderstorm elongating. All right, well, let's take a look for ourselves after we take a look at Nightbot. Okay, so... Uh, Nam is right there. So there's the elongation line right there. And that is into tomorrow morning. And so late tonight. And... Hmm... Yeah, this may be a, uh, a while for stuff to actually start to just, like, pop off. Two winter storms. Interesting. All right, there's a new uh, severe thunderstorm warning. This is for Louisiana. So let's take a look at this one. Bunch of gusty winds, 60 mile per hour wind gusts. How do they calculate this? Because the winds and the tilt is actually like driving me insane. Like all this, these velocities right here are not accurate whatsoever. So they are probably. <sighs> radar indicated. They're probably assuming that all of that is. Not quite true. Can there be severe weather tomorrow in Ohio? I don't believe so, sir. I do not believe so. There is nothing happening. There is something happening on day four. There is something happening on day five, but six and seven are non-existent. So four. That's insufficient. To maintain confidence that the currently forecasted potential for severe weather on day four over portions of the central US is strong. Hmm. Ooh, so a thousand joules per kilogram on. Friday. Unfortunately, I don't really want, like, I'm not really able to stream that until a lot later. I gotta work until, like, 9. Not right. <clears throat> Do I actually have to work until, like, 9? Something. It's around the time. Um... Hmm... Oh, I work later than 9. Goodness gracious. I work until like 10. And then I go home. <laughs> you go to sleep. Probably. <laughs> yeah, I'm buying a bunch of stuff that day though. And that Friday. But I gotta work on that day. So that's gonna be interesting. Um... Oh, yeah, I forgot. Boom. Okay, we got all that. It's just in case if that all dies. It's just in case. That's going to be fine. Shows Houston getting severe weather this weekend. Yep, that's what I saw. This is going to be pretty interesting. You might have to actually um, 
refresh your page or people might have to refresh their uh, their stream to get like up to date I'm not sure precisely why my streams kind of lag sometimes but if you have to I promise stuff is not going to be doing so much so our area may see some snow and ice Saturday night yeah I did too I did indeed say that well not say see that and it's actually still kind of up in the air um I'm going to take a look at the euro this is the total accumulated snowfall and this is this weekend and take a look at that look at that there's that little snow that we're talking about right in there so it's gonna be kind of interesting to see how this all works yeah on day five day, day five is pretty uh significant when it comes to 15 percent but yep there's the snow um unfortunately you can't get ice here on this it is supposed to snow later what is this the third now usually after this half point i take it with a grain of salt so it's starting to get pretty close to that but what is the third the third is sunday huh Wait a second. Are you telling me that we might be getting snow in Baltimore while the Ravens play the 49ers and I'm going to be there? What is this? Trying to wrap back up around and pull more cold air out on Monday. Yeah. And then try to like snow again. It's going to be pretty interesting to see. I'm gonna take a look at some other models, such as the GP, the GDPS. See what that says. So, it does agree that this weekend something, but then on Sunday nothing really too much into that. Let's take a look at the freezing rain. This should tell us. Oh, there's a lot of freezing rain around us, but not near us. For you, you get some. For you, you get some. Take a look at the bomb cyclone in Washington State. Yeah, there is actually a pretty nice or a pretty insane little bomb cyclone over here. Look at this. I'll put the freezing rain up and let that explain for itself. Boom. And then I'll put up the snowfall. Get ready for this. Boom. Look at all of that as that pops off. The bomb. There's a bomb cyclone that's going to be just going to go off completely there's so we'll do that real quick look at this that's gonna go through and then we're gonna take a look at the surface preset you'll be able to see look at that cyclone right there look at this boom it goes straight in to that uh, that's basically it for the model there's anything past that really isn't too interesting but looks like it may develop into somewhat powerful nor'easter in new england yeah it could it could it's got the chance to but other than that oh yeah notice how this thing they talked about in the mesoscale discussion that there's gonna be heavy snow throughout that area of northeastern Nebraska, southeastern South Dakota, and southern Minnesota. We'll take a look at that. That is a lot of snow. We'll go 24 hour accumulated because this thing is going to be a lot. And look at that. Nine inches in 24 hours in some spots. And then as it goes into the Great Lakes, or the Great Lakes, it does what Great Lakes things do. So looking for Duluth, Minnesota, St. Louis County. All right, so St. Louis County, I'm going to have to look up. Uh, should not have a U there. 
Uh, ch -ch 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 maps. Okay, so it's Duluth, basically. So it's northern Duluth. Makes sense. So for you all, I will go... No, I don't want to contact. <laughs> uh, regional. United States. North Central. Yeah, that should be able to get your area. Um, so this is the 24-hour snowfall. You guys should be getting some snow by now. And then there's a tornado warning, so we are going to want to take a look at that in a second. But as we look through the accumulated snowfall in 24 hours, it is for the GP, the GDPS stays under three inches on average for an hour. So if we take a look at the 12 hour accumulated snowfall, it won't be too much until about, let's see, this evening, late this evening into early morning hours tomorrow morning. And that should basically be it until later this weekend. And that's really it. Now, I can't really give you anything else beyond that because there could be temperature patterns, temperature changes. I can give you if there, you are going to get any freezing rain, in which it does not look like you are getting any whatsoever. So you should be good in that regard. But there are two tornado warnings now, so we are going to have to take a look at that really quickly. This tornado warning is in Louisiana. This is for Franklin, Madison, and Richland. This is in effect until, I'm going to assume that's 545, in which I would actually, no, 645. 645 Central Standard Time. And uh, this is radar indicated, so let's take a look at this. Um, who issued this? This is Jackson, Mississippi, so this is out here. Um... Hmm. Oh, look at that. Yep, yeah, we've definitely got... This is actually kind of harder to see because the velocities are really just not consistent whatsoever. But there is the rotation right there just to the west of Baskin. And it moves off to the north and east. Let's go ahead and right-click that. Oh, this is a confirmed tornado. So this is a tornado-reported storm. Uh, let's remove that. Uh, storm motion from warning. Let's put the storm track right there. Anyone near Baskin and near Manningham needs to get into their shelter now. I repeat, this tornado is on the ground. This has been reported. And this is moving to the north and east. This should go by Baskin. This should go by Manningham. But people near State Route 15, this is Mississippi 15, need to take cover now. I will indeed put this in the thingamabobber. And look at that. As that updates, that entails, shows you more stuff. It's kind of hard to multitask, really, when there's... Uh, when there's that and then uh, I'm gonna take a look at this okay so this was for the storm earlier I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there too CV boom did the general say anything about that photos vids and links okay so not really radar confirmed yep so that makes sense um, there we go so we got that Life is not good right now. We are in DEFCON 2. So let's take a look at the correlation coefficient to see if this supports this. And it, you can see that the winds kind of, you know, obscure this. This is really far away from the radar. This is looking with this tilt of 0.3 degrees. It is looking, if you look at the bottom part of your screen, right here. All right, so right here. If you want to follow up with me for my evidence, this is looking up 8,812 feet in the sky for this area for the radar. So the radar wouldn't have been able to detect this. So it had to have been someone to actually report it. All right. And with that, there might actually be a tornado on the ground right now near Baskin. 
and actually it might actually be uh, picking up this correlation coefficient. So people near Baskin need to get underground now. This is in Louisiana. This is moving off to the north and east. This is going to head in the general direction of Dunn near I-20 and near Route. Let's see. I'm trying to find out where this is. This is US-80. So people near Manningham and Baskin and everywhere in between that area and Dunn need to get underground now. This is a very dangerous situation as the SPC has said that this has a chance of producing dangerous tornadoes today. Not significant ones, so like EF5, but just tornadoes in general. So with this being already on the ground, spotter confirmed. The radar has actually confirmed this tornado. So scratch that, the spotters have not confirmed this. It's straight up radar, which is quite interesting. Now I kind of want to take a look at if there's anything populace-wise. And there really isn't any, thank goodness for that, there isn't really a lot of housing near this area. But for the radar to be able to see that, that's quite it. That's a, that's quite insane to me as to how that all transpired. Quickly, I'm going to move off from this and move off to the storm just to the south and east of Joplin. Yes, I know, south and east of Joplin. And then I'm going to go over to the new tornado warning that has transpired over in Arkansas. This is for Barry, McDonald, and Newton counties. This is in effect until 630 Central, I am guessing. Yep, indeed. And um, yeah, look at that hook. That hook right there is... Uh, pretty prominent if I do say so myself. You can see how that all is working and you can see the velocities right now with the uh, tilts looking up into the storm. It's kind of hard to see specifically as to where and how strong the rotations are. But this is for Springfield. So this is moving towards the radar. This is moving slightly slower towards the radar. So you can see this overlapping type motion. So right in there would be where the rotation would be as this moves off in the general direction as I take, let's see, right click that. Uh, that's not what I needed, but let's put a storm track right there. This is moving off to the north and east near Stella and near Fairview. This should go to the north of Rocky Comfort, but I would not doubt if that turns down there. So people in those areas, even in Wheaton, need to get underground now and be able to get out of the way of this storm. Let's move over to Arkansas now. Actually, this is Louisiana into Arkansas. Uh, this is for Columbia, Union, and Claiborne counties. This is in effect until 7. Oh, look at that. Oh, my. Uh, does not have a TVS at this time, but that rotation is quite tight. Oh, goodness. This just moved over State Route 2. This is a... Uh, this one's quite this one's quite interesting. The other one is PDS, does it really? Yep, this does. A confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado. We're going to take a look at that in a few seconds. I do want to take a look at this um, just updated actually. And it's a bit broad, a little bit weaker rotation now, but still moving off just to the north of, Hol of uh, Homer. I am going to get a storm motion. And then place the track right there. This is going to move just to the south of Colquitt, just to the north of Summerfield. But people in Colquitt and Summerfield do need to get underground. and They do need to take caution with this storm, as this is tornado warned for a reason. Let's go back to the PDS situation back in, oh boy, back in eastern, northeastern Louisiana. This is a confirmed large and dangerous tornado. And you can definitely see, look at that debris ball right there. Good God, if that doesn't say anything about how dangerous this storm is, this is near Manham. People really need to take care take care with the storm. My goodness. I haven't seen something like this since, you know, three weeks ago where I was covering the storm in Dallas. You know, that tornado. You know, I don't have the same uh, people that were on with me that night. We all knew that that was happening. But this, this... The velocities are still choking up a bit. 
can't really exactly give you a firm grasp of where all that is happening. But this is definitely a very large tornado as this moves off more towards the north east north so more in this general direction more off towards dunn actually more towards the western part of dunn so something that people do want to take care of this seems to have more of a curling motion so this might actually just curl around near archibald so people in archibald now want to get underground that is my recommendation as this does move off more into a curly Q motion. So as you can see, this curls off. Um, I'm going to pull up the correlation coefficient. This was quite small before. Now you can see how this follows my arrow and it just blows up significantly. So very, very dangerous as to how this is transpiring. And guys, if I'm not reading the comments, like every single second i do apologize i do want to communicate uh with you guys as much as possible but if you guys you guys can kind of understand you know how this all is transpiring throughout here so i will quickly take a look at the comments just to see what you all have to say uh yes indeed radar confirmed uh, travel accurately identifying cloud formations. Yeah, that's that's kind of accurate. Oh, the debris ball just continues. And look at that. There's the debris ball right there. So this is uh, this is quite interesting. Picked up this tornado warning. Yep. Um. Three at once, one with PDS. Yep, this is a uh, quite, quite sporadic. You know, it's affecting three different states. One with a PDS. So, you know, it's very interesting. I hope someone. Uh, oh, what is this? Block of text. This is for Madison Parish. Wait a second. Is this the one that I, that I had here? No, it is not. All right, I'm going to post that. Uh, boom. So we got that. Freaking Pokemon Go. Get out of my way. <laughs> um, I'm going to take a look around here. Nothing too much. Yeah, it seems to be quite interesting as all that is. So we're going to continue to take a look at these, uh, this storm specifically. Um, you could definitely see the rotation now. Look at that. Actually, it's quite broad as to how the rotation is. Well, it's kind of hard to dictate. So that's, that's a lot of clockwise rotation here's the counterclockwise and that warning just shrunken down um i do not understand as to why they shrunk that warning down but um you know what could have happened chat and i'm not opposed to this but this may have said very large tornado this is one of two things, all right? A, it could be a tornado. B, this could have been a microburst. A very powerful microburst. And I'm not opposed to that, uh, that theory either. Specifically because, let's retract, let's retract the scans. Let's go even further back than that. This could have been a microburst. So if you take a look at all the yellows and the reds, they're kind of congealed there. There's some off here north uh, towards Archibald. But really, what you want to pay attention is for in front of this area, all right, as this moves off. As we push this, look at how that expands completely. 
Look at how that expands all the way through. And now you have this giant blob. This tells me that a microburst could have occurred. Could have. Now, the thing about it is, is that those could also, those could have also been a tornado, you know, with the correlation coefficient, you know, but here's the thing. As rapid as these velocities are, the correlation coefficient isn't really consistent with the rotation. A microburst is just a... Um, an updraft giving away and pushing down all of the uh, heavy rain and winds down into the storm. Quite interesting. I have to, uh, I'm just like trying to do that. The RFD could have, so that's, that's a good possibility too. You can see that, uh, so if I go back in uh, previous scans, here is where it all transpired right here. And you can kind of see how, you know, these winds break up a bit. You can't really see within the radar, but it pushes off and then the winds kind of retract a bit, so that could have happened, but then this is where the rotation would be. And this says that there was a debris ball right there. On radar, it does not say that whatsoever, at least on the reflectivity. And if you take a look, actually, here's where they were talking about right here. Let's take a look. Yeah, look at the uh, KDB, the KDP. I can't exactly tell you what that means I just know it contains a lot of liquid but look at that look at how much liquid it produces within there it just pours and then spreads out so I think that could be a microburst now this down here I'm scared of because this has now formed little appendage itself. So this, I wouldn't be surprised. I honestly would not be surprised if that turned tornadic. It could be rain wrapped. You're right. It could be. But I wouldn't think it would be for a couple of reasons. Let's split the panels up here. Let's put that with the base reflectivity and let's put that with the base velocity, all right? Let's go further back. Actually, let's put the correlation coefficient right here. All right, so here's where it would be. Actually, let's put spectrum width. So spectrum width, nah, we need four panels. Crap, all right, four panels. This would be velocity this would be reflectivity all right so here's where it all started out right near basket notice how there is extensive rainfall over basket granted there is a lot of strong winds extensive rainfall notice how the spectrum width is up spectrum width is up near basket and mangham Let's continue off, and right over the cursor, that's where they said tornado starts. It pushes off, and then here you have the, continu uh, the continuation. Now, this is still in the spectrum width. There's a new tornado warning, and we'll get to that in a second. But this continues to push off and continue to grow and grow. And if you take a look at the reflectivity, it starts to die out in spots and push off. 
So the rain wrapping is a possibility, but it's not total. It's not a total um, definer of whether or not it is. And you you would be able to see that with the velocities, but the velocities, this is right over the said debris ball that it had. I do not see any definite rotation that says that a tornado is on the ground right there. So it could possibly just be a microburst. But then again, we're not there right now, so I'm just giving my best judgment as to what is happening. Um, uh, when the storm spotter saw it, he immediately thought it was a tornado. Oh, well, I, I'm not surprised then. But anyways, let's take a look at the new tornado warning over in Missouri, and then we will refresh with the Arkansas tornado warning. We will be able to see what all is happening there. I just had to tell some of my uh, weather comrades that I thought it was a microburst. People, they're like saying, "Oh, it's a tornado," and I'm like, "No." So if if you if you took a look for a second, you know, just look at the spectrum width, look at the uh, KDP. I just know it deals with a lot of rain. I know that. But look at this rotation. This rotation is still significant near Wheaton. So people in Wheaton need to take. Uh, Take notice, the tornado warning for Arkansas has now diminished. So that is the good news over there in Arkansas, northern um, northern Louisiana, southern Arkansas. You are now okay for now. I will take a look at that just so I am able to see what all happened. This has a threshold of 8.3. Huh. It does have a hail core, so the updraft is there. And the echo tops are decent. And as this moves off towards Springfield, which is closer to the radar, which is actually a lot better for us so that we can actually see what is going on, this is going to be interesting. Uh, what in the world? Um... Oh my goodness, caps locks. Uh, just talking about... No caps because I was rushing that one. <laughs> Can people just like stop, stop adding everything? Oh, I can't spell actually. But anyways, <laughs> as that continues, you still have decent rotation near Wheaton. So people need to actually just take a look at that and monitor it as this moves off into Purdy. Oh, the names of places. But let's place a storm track right there. And yep, this is indeed is heading in the general direction of Purdy. This is moving north of Butterfield. But people near Butterfield need to take precautions. So 
People near Wheaton, if you're not underground right now, I don't know what you're doing. I honestly don't. But, um... <laughs> that's the thing I can do. It really isn't. Um, this is going to go south of Monette. And this should go north of Jenkins, but people in Jenkins still need to take precautions as this could turn any direction. This is... This rotation has gotten significantly weaker now that I look at this, so this might expire soon. Soon. But uh, still something that we need to take a look at. Um, now as we take a look, off, a look at this, yeah. I mean, this is just proving my point again. I think another microburst is happening. Maybe. This might be, actually, because there's a little appendage. Might be a little hook right here. It might be a giant inflow notch. So it might, all right? This one I won't rule out. This one might be a tornado. Even though it says it's reported, it said it was radar confirmed. And the thing about it being radar confirmed is that they are not there. So they think that the radar has a tornado. So this right here, this was not a part of the radar confirmed tornado that issued it from the beginning. If I pull up the previous scans, it will show you that this is what they were actually looking at. This right here. Now I'll circle this entire area because this is where the circle really blew up. All right. I want you to take a look at the spectrum width. Look at how all of that is yellow. That is the downdraft. That is extensive rainfall and winds moving down the storm. As this pushes off, it expands significantly. Expands significantly. Now there's slight rotation down here that I was looking at and whether or not that is still there, I don't know. It does not look like it is still there, but there is little hint of possible rotation back in here. I do not know quite yet, but you know what? Let's see. Uh, have you heard of a storm called Hector the Convector? Oh, uh, no. Not really. If I were to look it up, would it be available? <laughs> Uh, I tried to bite the chew wafer thing in my mouth and the teeth hurt. <laughs> Hell, yeah. That's probably RFD. It could be RFD, honestly. A microburst is when an updraft can't sustain all the winds and hail at the top of or the center of a storm. And it just dumps everything straight down. The Tweet Islands in the Northern Territory of Australia from approximately September to March every year. Huh. Interesting. I'll have to look it up just to see, to learn more about it. That's kind of cool. I've got family that lives over there. They don't tell me anything about that. So, uh, <laughs> something a little interesting to take a look at. Um, this did have a tornado warning, and, uh, seems as if it doesn't anymore, but I will take a look at this. Uh, do do I do want to look at previous scans. Do 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 Please. Alright, it seems to just weaken straight up. There is still a bit of rotation within that, but not really too much to be afraid of. I had a Wikipedia page, seems legit. <laughs> Happens every day around three to five. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Quite. So these, this radar is kind of like dying 
And it's kind of hard for me to decipher what all is happening besides using the correlation coefficient, which I don't really like using all too often. If I try and uh, figure out and then the spectrum width, and quite honestly, this all right here is no rain specifically. This all right here might be a bunch of wind. No. Yeah, it might be a bunch of inflow. It's just, it's kind of congealed right now. And the warning just shrunk down. So there's that. So that's kind of interesting. If I, huh? What in the world? <laughs> code black lockdown you see people over exaggerate all of that stuff honestly they really do like in my opinion they do over exaggerate that stuff like, code black lockdown. Like, dude, it's not even a giant, <laughs> a giant outbreak. It's just a bunch of massive, well, not really massive per se, but like a bunch of tornado warnings that are spin-ups. I did say that this storm was going to impact Purdy, so people in Purdy should be in their underground shelter or the lowest level and central part of their building. Now, as this continues to move off, this will go near Aurora, near Verona. So people over there do need to be careful as this storm is heading your way. I said heading. It's heading. So uh, no correlation coefficient with this. A lot of gusty winds, however. Not really any spectrum width, which leads me to believe that this is an actual supercell. If I take a 3D of this, I should be able to see a decent little updraft, and it's pretty far behind. This thing is racing across. And yeah, there's the updraft. This updraft is quite nice. It's a little over 20,000 feet, which is acceptable under my terms. So this thing is uh, moving off, and it's pretty, pretty much trucking around. So, I feed the cell, looks pretty HP. I would think this thing would be. I mean, this thing continues. The correlation coefficient is really just like proving that much. Like, there really is a lot of precip within all of that. And then the spectrum width, as I said, doesn't really show anything, although now is starting to pop up. Which is quite interesting. This may be doing what the this cell down here. Um, for guys that don't know, that hasn't haven't paid attention, I called this earlier a microburst. I still think it was a microburst. I still think it probably is a microburst, even though there might be some embedded circulations on this bottom cell right here. I'm not ruling that out, but I am ruling out earlier. That when they call this a tornado radar indicated rotation, that that was a tornado. I am saying that that is a microburst. But you guys can also be the judge of that. You know, I mean, I love to see your thoughts and everything of the sort. But um, I still think that it was a microburst. Yeah, PDS kind of seems generous, especially since, let's see, how high in the storm are they looking up? They're looking up 6,595 feet in the sky. How are they going to issue a PDS when they're that far away? Like, the beam height must be... Well, that is the beam height, but, like, it must be... Let's see, how far is this? 78 nautical miles. That's about 80, 82 miles away. 
How are they going to issue a PDS if it's that far away unless if it's actually reported on the ground from the public or even a spotter? Like, it's just kind of... Kind of unrealistic, in my opinion. Um... Hmm. But it's quite interesting to see how all of that is. I mean, severe weather live is also live. I kind of want to go see her account. Her account is really nice. She doesn't ca care about subscribers. I do. I want to get up to a thousand. That's my dream. I can like stop, quit. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna quit. I just won't have a goal after a thousand. Um, YouTube, Severe Weather Live, she's actually pretty good, I like her a lot. Severe Weather Live, here she is, and here's her channel, her channel is actually pretty nice. Um... Hmm. I still want to see what her opinion of this is. I honestly do. Unfortunately, she's using WSV3, so WSV3 is kind of stupid, honestly. I like her a lot though like her she's okay all right i'm just like trying to go in between debris ball if she only read her comments because it's not a debris ball i honestly don't think you know what chat we're gonna debunk it right now it was just there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is it recycling? Um, as for right now, it could be. All right, she's she's making me mad. She's not reading the comments, which is stupid. Uh, severe weather live. Look at the spectrum with it into a microburst. I'm trying to help her out because she says it's a giant tornado. I think she is mistaken. I still like her though. But anyways, what do I use? I use GR2 Analyst. It is in the description down below. There is also another um, National Weather Service is still saying it's confirmed. I do not think that is the case. Uh, I still think it's radar confirmed. I, I think they're full of crap right now. I don't think they know what they're saying. As of 639, which was three minutes ago. I do not think they know exactly what they are looking at, honestly. I really don't. You know what? Chat, let's take a look at Twitter. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to meet you for now. Whether you agree with me or not, I do not <laughs> care as of this moment. But let's take a look and see if Twitter has any evidence. If it doesn't, it further proves my point. But where is this said tornado? 
Actually, let's take a look at the latest. New tornado warning. Never mind. We're going to have to stop that right there, chat. Never mind. It's just continuation of this one. What do you mean? Yeah, I knew. I knew. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Severe updates. Boom. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, so there we go. We got that. As I continue to try and update the thing. Oh, she's back at this. Oh, man, we got another tornado. Oh. If they, if she just like, look at the thing. Do me a favor. Well, anyways, chat. <laughs> well, anyways, chat. <laughs> we tried to help her. We tried. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. The world come to peace. There isn't no peace. What are you talking about? The world is in agony when it comes to the weather. It's at the beckon, the beckon call of uh, Mother Nature. Yeah, this thing is kind of shriveled off. I, uh, yeah, it's not really doing anything anymore. It seems to actually have uh, gusted out. It was gusting, so here was little gusts and it pushed across and then you could see this thing was racing it was racing off at tremendous speeds you know how fast was this thing actually moving it northeast at 55 yeah that's not sustainable no way <laughs> it just zoomed off completely so it just absolutely buzz sawed through but this, what in the world? What is that? Okay, buddy, I want to know. And then that, that's just nothing. That's nothing. What in the world? Okay, so the previous reported tornado warning is gone. Thank God. I don't think it was a tornado anyways. I'll be surprised if it was. But I do not think that there was a tornado there at all. None whatsoever. So as I look through this, I'm trying to find out if there's any of the sort. I do not see anything so far. If you guys do find some stuff, please feel free to tell me. I will search it up myself, unless if Nickbot allows you all to send links. If he gives you a warning, then I will turn it off. But, um... Mm. Yeah. Now four chasers are streaming from the same highway. I'm not surprised. Probably near Taula. Probably. I honestly kind of want to watch one of them. Uh, if you give me a name, or give me one of the best, uh, better ones. Something like that. Unless if it's like... Well, you might give me a read, Timur. I might... If you, if Reed Timmer's over there, give me him. If if he is, tell me, and I will feel free to critique him up and down the street. <laughs> Cause I'm that type of guy. I love to critique people. It's a bad thing for me to do, but you know what? I love it. State line falls in Mississippi River, hence the odd shape. Yeah, that makes sense. Especially with it, uh, with the county line and everything. It's dark. Well, yeah, it is dark, but you can still see lightning data. Is there any lightning with this storm down here? Hold up. Place file. Panels. Windows. Place file manager. What? Are you kidding me? Brett Adair. Is he like on Facebook or something like that? And then real quickly. 
Chat, I kind of want to just like, it has the best position in view. Okay, I might do that. Chat, I might want to just like buy radar scope again <laughs> because this is honestly starting to get on my nerves. This place file stuff. There's not a lot of lightning around there anyways. I just took a look on my phone because I have the, uh, the um, whatever you call the first level that you pay for like everything. Can I send the link? I don't know. I'm going to have to ask Nightbot. Nightbot. Again. YouTube. Do I need a Gmail? Hello, hello. Hi. How's it going? It's going all right. Uh, I think you can send links. You should be fine. You should be fine. I'm out of water and lemonade. Yeah, I think you won't get banned it's from Nightbot. Nightbot should be allowing you to see all that. New tornado warning for the same storm. Just the northern part in which I said. It's time for me to put an exclamation point predict in the chat. I haven't done one of these in a while. Exclamation point predict. Can I get an exclamation point woof in the chat? Exclamation point woof in the chat. Make my day a whole lot better. <laughs> I mean, did I not predict that chat? I predicted that right on the money. I said that that looks concerning. That might be a tornado. <laughs> Warren soon. Did I not? If I still had an editor, I would ask him to go back and put that right on there. <laughs> just like go back in go back in the video and just slap that on there. Insert clip now. And then I'd insert that or something like that. Or my editor would. If he was still with me, he's he branched off into his own thing though. Which I'm not upset about. Yes! Exclamation point woof, baby. <clears throat> I like it a lot. Exclamation point woof is the greatest command in the world. Um... Hmm. I don't know what else to say about this. The Echo Tops aren't that too too good. Echo job lol. <laughs> Is the same view now? Okay, then I might um I might look it up. Let's see. So it was live storm chasing. Live storm chasing. Boom. Severe oh live storm chasing.com. Go back. Go back. Please. What in the world? Map. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Brandon Clement and Brett Adair. Damage in. It's way going on. My ears, they just died. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Is it hailing right in front of him? Is he in the hail cord? Nick Busby, he's in Minneapolis. What in the 
world. What's the point of that? Oh, actually, I feel like I'm gonna get like killed with my ears if I just like continue to listen to him. All right, so that's Brett Adair. Let's take a look at Brandon Clement, and he seems to be just taking a stop at the Wendy's, if I not do say so myself. He was in the Hale Court earlier. That makes more sense. That honestly does. All right. Which, by the way, guys, I do want to say, this stream right here was probably had the best response from you guys ever. This was this was a great stream, and for guys that haven't watched it, I highly recommend that you do. Especially go in the description, just tap that little time spot right there. It brings it just to the beginning of the Dallas tornado. Boom. In my opinion, the best coverage out there. Or the best. We were a bit unorganized that night, mainly because of the sheer brute strength of the storm. But I think we handled it exceptionally well. So if you guys haven't taken a look at that, go ahead and take a look at that video. It was a whale of a time. And, uh, yeah, pretty nice. We got in a new truck. Yeah, I don't, I'm pretty sure you would have had to in order for that. Other than that, that really seems to be the gist of it. Um, we still got that those two tornado warnings, so. Although... I don't really think it's going to be, like, too significant. You still have one rotation right here, and then another one within either here or here. I'd have to take a look. I do not see it anywhere, though. Like, it's honestly just a bunch of bleh. Damage reports come in. Trailer rollover. That was a while back, though. All right, so that makes sense. So that would support my microburst, kinda. Oh, they both both really could do that. So it didn't really prove anything. Brett's live stream saw it, saw a tornado or a microburst because both look similar up close. Both indeed look similar up close. And close. Oh, bleh. I know firsthand. Um, top. I do not see anything that would support tornado on the ground previously, other than the radar thinking it's just correlation coefficient and it being on the ground. Now, here's the thing. As soon as I would see a correlation coefficient with a ball on the ground, I immediately would press the trigger and say, oh, that's a tornado on the ground. Specifically because I'm not taking that chance and saying it's a microburst and it actually being a giant tornado. All right, let's get that straight. All right? I'm not critiquing the National Weather Service, you know, at that instance. What I am critiquing is that afterwards, they would think, I'm assuming that they knew that it was a microburst. And now, you know, you'd think that they would have figured that out by now. But nope, they haven't. And I'm a bit disappointed in that. Honestly. But it's not my call. Not really my call. Let's take a look at Missouri as this heads off into Springfield, this storm. Oh, I saw the trailer. Okay. That makes more sense. I was just about to say, if it saw the tornado, it would have been... Woof! <laughs> yeah, this thing seems to be more of a wind threat, I'm not going to lie. But uh, still something to keep an eye out for. So, uh, as I continue to look through all of this, uh, 
<gasps> this is exactly what I have been looking for. I like this a lot. All right, well, there we go. We leave that there. I have my own weather radio back there, but in case of that just dies. What in the world? Stop. Trailer. What? Report type tornado. Well, how would have they known if it was a tornado? If they didn't see it. Yeah. Too injured. I mean, no offense. They better not have that as a report. They better not have that as a report. They do have it as a report. I'm just kidding. Stream is not starting soon, chat. What do you need? Alrighty. Well, uh, that fiasco is done. <laughs> yeah, I don't see. They might be taking that off. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I just wanna see. Several homes damaged on the north side. Yeah, Michael Burris could do that too. Too injured. Just gonna open that up. It's the same. Not exactly what I'm looking for though. It's just still something that's in the middle. All right. This needs to stop. That's not a tornado report. Listen, glisten, Glinda. Glisten, Glinda. It's time for you to stop. That was not a tornado. Let's uh, let's turn it off and turn it back on again. There is no way in the utmost hell I mean, maybe a brief, but I do not think it was. I thought, that, I th I'm pretty sure that was a microburst. 100% positive it was a microburst. All right, we're back. We're back to where it was. Correlation coefficient. Yeah. It came through here and it pushed off. There is no way possible. I mean, this could, you know what, chat, that's it. We're taking a look for ourselves. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, nope, 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 nope. Yeah, no. That was not a tornado chat. I just took a slice of the thing and it 
basically told me. No. No tornado. Go away. Get back. It's a lot of rain there, though. I'm not gonna lie. It's a lot, a lot of rain. But that's not a tornado. Like, guaranteed. It's a microburst. Pretty upset that they have made that a uh, tornado report. But you know what? Can't have it all the way they want it. Mm, just take a look at this. Hmm. Look, I don't know. <laughs> this is just... This is giving me a run for my money. I'm pretty sure it's not, though. Are you going to cover Friday Threat? Um, I can if you want to. It's a little far, but I could still attempt to try and uh, cover it fully. Um... That's not what I wanted. Oh, this is precip. Reflectivity precip type. That's not north central. I want south central. This is 28. Crap. All right. Uh, GFS it is. Yeah, unfortunately, I do not like using. Oh. Crap. What happened to the priest? Nope, we're not using the, uh, we're not using that. We're just gonna use GFS straight up. And uh, we're gonna get the preset type. <clears throat> Still no new tornado warnings, that's good. So here is the said storms moving through. This line right here, Bunch of cells peer up and over the central plains, and then they move off into parts of Arkansas and Missouri. And then... You'll see that uh, the line moves off into Louisiana and Arkansas and Mississippi, and that's the severe threat for Saturday, too. All right, see ya, Andrew. Thanks for stopping by. I am going to get a drink, though, because I've been talking nonstop, if I do say so myself. <laughs> what I will do, though, chat, is I will put on some music. And I don't care if I get copyright claimed. I really don't have enough people, uh, you know, to watch my streams. So, uh, open a folder, music, weather, select, boom, got that. Yep, I will indeed cover the Houston threat. I will, I will, trust me. On Saturday, I probably will be able to, um, to stream Saturday I probably will alrighty well I am going to get a drink real quick so uh yeah I will be back <laughs> what Okay. And 